Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I got a network update for you guys from Verizon. Great post by Alan Weisberger. Hope I said that right. FCC permits Verizon to test 5G and carrier aggregation in CBRS spectrum band. Now, why is this interesting? Why is this significant? Earlier in the year, when Verizon held their analyst day during the Q&A, uh, Kyle Maletti, I think is, is how you say his name, stated that the equipment that's being deployed on CBRS is currently active on the LTE side. But the radios and equipment that are actually on the nodes, the small cell nodes and some, some towers, it's capable of NR. And they can upgrade it via software. And he made that very clear during the Q&A. So as they get through this testing, as the engineers are tasked with making sure that it's ready for the launch window whenever they plan to, to, to flip the switch and, and uh, software upgrade to 5G, and once that reporting comes back to the, to the team and they now, okay, we can now software upgrade it, we have all the data we need, we ran the statistics, we're good to go, then they can upgrade the CBRS radios to NR and now on 5G portion, on the 5G portion, you'll be able to utilize the CBRS spectrum in form of carrier aggregation. Now this testing is happening in Minnesota. Just wanted to point that out. Now what changes here from this spectrum going from LTE to 5G? Is there any, you know, any efficiency? Does it, does it, does it perform better? So what changes here from what I was being told is the aggregation portion on LTE, you had to aggregate the channels by 20 megahertz. So if there was 60 megahertz on air, it was in form of three channels of 20 megahertz each on LTE. So you saw band 48, band 48, band 48. Now with NR, the new radios, that changes. Now you can just do one channel of N48 at 40 megahertz or 60 megahertz or 80, whatever, whatever's out there, you can now combine all of that into one channel instead of having to run three channels of 20 megahertz. So that's what essentially changes, which I think is going to be better uh, regardless for the devices. So now you can aggregate that with C-band and then there should just be two channels, not 10 or 12 or 14 or whatever else is needed as more spectrum gets added on, which... If we would have stayed on LTE, that's what it eventually would have happened. I mean, AT&T is already, in some cases, at seven um, channels of bandwidth that they're aggregating because they have so much uh, smaller channels. So I just wanted to uh, bring that up, that this is also happening. So while they prepare for the C-band launch, um, Verizon, there's also another layer of Spectrum CBRS that will come on board with uh, the NR and that'll be aggregated and that'll push more bandwidth, more throughput and more speeds. One thing about CBRS, I want to make that very clear. It is limited in power, so it will not reach the length or the range of C-band. It just won't. Um, at best, many that have tested, it reaches about a mile, which I think is very, very good in terms of offloading. You can offload a macro from a small cell roughly about a mile radius so that means lots of users will be offloaded onto that cbrs and it should clear up some speed and capacity for the macro so let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below a very effective capacity layer that's what verizon needs lots of people are saying verizon slowing down they are congested well this will this will sure help trust me it'll help and with the amount of bandwidth and fiber that Verizon is adding in one fiber markets, there should be no problems running four, five, 600 megabits on that connection. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading your comments. Make sure you guys are like sharing and subscribing to the channel so you are up to date. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified through YouTube. Make sure to follow my social media outlets, especially my Twitter. The videos are going on the Twitter if you are not notified in a timely manner from YouTube. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.